Brian Powell of Iron Farah with Ida Nielsen before the 2017 Les Templiers. How are you, Ida? Yeah, good. Yeah? You've had a great, a really good last year between winning the North Face 50, Tres Volcania, Ultra Vassen. Uh, is it your best season in ultra running? Uh, yes, uh, like I mean, I guess been doing it like two years. Yeah. <laughs> so And this uh, year I have um, done more races, more ultras, and yeah. uh, managed to keep like uh, yeah healthy and uh, kept running, and uh, I didn't have to cancel any race. So um, yeah, that's good. You've stayed healthy all season, and now it's October. Do you still feel strong, or are you getting tired, or? I now? think it was uh, mostly my head a little bit, a few yeah. weeks, like to to start uh, training hard again, and uh, the season mm -hmm. been long. But uh, now I, the last week, I really started to feel like uh, good and looking for, for forward to the race, and it will be so much fun that it's like me and Mimi and Emily running here. So yeah. now I'm starting to get really excited. Were things a little challenging with the weather, probably turning to winter up in? Uh yeah, we ha we didn't have um, so great weeks like coming up here, so it feels nice to be down here and a little bit warmer weather. <laughs> now you did mention some of your uh, your Swedish country women. Uh, you have Emily, you have Mimi. Uh, it's just and on the men's side as well, you have a really good Swedish contingent. What do you think is the reason behind that to have so many great Swedish runners at Les Templiers? Oh, it will be great. It will be. Um, yeah, hopefully we can help each other and um, yeah, everyone feeling strong up there. So, Do you think there's a reason that so many, because there's a lot of races and you don't always have so many strong Swedes. Why Les Templiers for the Swedish runners? I think runners? it fits everyone in the, in the schedule and it's okay. also a race we can kind of meet at, I think. It's, um, it's runnable, but it's also some steep technical sections, so it's a race for for example, uh, me and Emily can meet, and for Mimi also, and yeah. uh, because sometimes we we choose uh, a little bit different races, and we we have uh, yeah different strengths. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is a race we can all come together in. I think. I mean, I think it's on the same on the men's side for the Swedes because you have Andre Johnson who was third in the Sky Extreme series, and then you have an Elof Olsen yeah. who's very fast on the flatter terrain, and yeah. maybe this is a good matchup. I think so. Yeah. Does that excite you to have a course that? mixes sort of the disciplines a little bit yeah totally that, that makes it like um, yeah always more competitive and more interesting also because it's really hard to say uh, uh, how it's going to play out the the race and yeah. uh, i mean for instance on the women's side you have somebody like camille heron who's extremely fast but maybe not as strong on the technical trail yeah so she could maybe make up half a you know minute and a kilometer on the roads but then yeah it's going to be uh, really exciting to see mm. and also the course is uh, easier in the beginning and then mm. just gets harder and harder so that's also uh, something to Yeah, those last <laughs> kilometers are not easy. No. <laughs> um, and you've been here before but you haven't raced. Uh, two years ago you were at the event but injured. Um, what have you learned about the course from seeing it earlier? Mm, yeah, two years ago, I, I, of course, I didn't run anything yeah. because I was injured, but I mainly saw some of the aid stations and where you run through the villages. So, and then, yeah, seen a little bit on the last downhill. So, no, I actually haven't seen so much, but just yeah. the surroundings and it looks great mm -hmm. and a really fun, like, uh, course, actually. Nice. Um, <clears throat> now, this course is... 70 some kilometers mm. that seems to play really well into your strength from like 70 to 90 kilometers you're almost unbeatable what what makes you so strong at that that range i don't know i haven't <laughs> tried to run further so yeah. <laughs> but for, for now it feels like that felt really long the first couple of races and i was really destroyed after but mm -hmm. this year i felt i've actually been recovering uh, much faster and better after like to be able to run seven to eight hours doesn't feel so uh, scary anymore yeah. so um, yeah I feel more comfortable with that uh, distance and time now has your training changed at all over the last few years or what do you like what do you do before this between Ultravasen and Templier uh, no I have been just uh, oh actually I've run a, a faster race in Sweden like a 30k um, cross-country race mm -hmm. so um, I tried to um, <laughs> speed up a little bit do some yeah shorter faster sessions before that and uh, yeah 
since then now I just been slow training, like try to build up some uh, good reach with some uh, yeah more kilometers again. Yeah. And what is that? How many you know at the top end of your training? How many kilometers a week might you run? Um, these three weeks have been uh, around uh, 160 to 180. I think one week almost. Yeah. yeah. So uh, on uh, flat terrain, mountainous. What is the no, in Norway is uh, quite mountainous, yeah. but I, I uh, run sometimes some uh, flatter also just to get. Otherwise, you don't. It's really hard to get a lot of uh, kilometers in. Yeah, in I was going to say if you're doing 180 kilometers yeah, on so, uh, the mountains of Norway, no, no, it's uh, that's all week. <laughs> so so y we have some uh, dirt roads you can do, and yeah. uh, uh, that is easier. So again, a, probably a good mix of terrain for getting ready for a race like Le Templier. Some flat. Yeah, and but. Some um, <laughs> There is no fast trail running really, no. like like here or in the Alps where you can yeah. get still meters and you can get the, mm -hmm. the more faster running there. It's like everything is kind of slow running. You're out like four hours and it's like, oh shit, I run like uh, 20 kilometers or something. <laughs> I mean, it, it takes time. Yeah. <laughs> but you feel ready and uh, you're excited, yeah? Yeah. Well, best of luck out there. Thank Ida. you. Take care. <laughs> yeah.